nights are out today, so will you walk with me? Will you build me a playground house? Nights are out today, so will you hold me? Will you fight me on the floor? It's how I feel when you're here and we can be together. Can we feel that we are strong and we can last forever? That we are strong and what we try to build. That we are strong. This might be a home. This might. Life can be so sweet when we find a moment of peace when we feel close. Some nights don't seem to end, we turn ourselves in to a moment of peace. Yeah, we surrender. It's how I feel when we walk, we walk until our feet are cold. It's how we feel. A part of us never grows old. You we surrender, let ourselves go wild. We surrender. Hi, how you doing? This is Justin for The Sofa Showcase and you've been listening to Clara from Sweden. And we say from Sweden because I can never pronounce her last name correctly. So your last name is... Chilean. Chilean, but Chilean. it's spelt... Kajelen. It's Kajelen. spelled Kajelen. So all English folks think that it's spelled... It's a... Yeah, it's Kajelen. But it's, <laughs> I knew that it wasn't right. Yeah. And this is why all my social media is Clara with a K, Clara from Sweden. Yeah. Because... It's so hard. It's, it's a bit easier. I love my mum. I love Sweden my mum, but yeah. the, the name is not it's, easy. That's hard. Yeah, it's a hard one. Um, so uh, I've known Clara for over ten years. She came over as a guitar student of mine uh, from Sweden, right? Yeah. So, so when I did my last year, my master degree in Sweden, uh, I wanted to go one year to London and uh, take singing lessons and guitar lessons. And luckily, I found you, mm -hmm. and you've been great. I yeah. have really enjoyed our lessons, and oh, I think I took lessons for two years or something. And then I've been following you on yeah. on your Justin guitar. Degree. And I've been following your journeys as a songwriter because <laughs> it's really great that you kept kept writing, and you got a new album out shortly right yes yeah well shortly my, it depends on when people are watching this video i guess yeah but, yeah. but it, my new album and um, 12 tracks coming out in 
June. Okay. Yeah. Well, very exciting. And you've recently done a song that was used for a Volvo ad, right? Yes, my first big TV ad. That felt so exciting the first time it came on TV. It's called These Woods and it's part of the Volvo Human Made uh -huh. videos. And we recorded it at Real World Studios. Awesome studio. Yeah, it's beautiful. And it was so fitting because my song These Woods is about childhood memories and um, I was born and raised in Sweden, there's lots of forests and lakes, so I wrote about childhood memories and how I was growing up in the countryside. So recording it in nature was uh, lovely. Yeah, amazing, yeah. amazing studio. Um, so, we, one of the things that I do on, on the Sofa Showcase, we talk a little bit about questions and stuff, trying yeah. if there are things that I might be able to help you out with on, in guitar land that yeah. might help some of them as well for production-y sort of yeah. things. So. Uh, I, Basically, I love folky fingerstyle patterns, mm -hmm. and what you came up with for my song Playground House that we did today was absolutely beautiful. So, I don't know if you want to How teach me that right. pattern <laughs> or. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's that sort of fingerstyle thing is what I really like doing, and I guess I do it on my own records as well. Um, I think the, the thing I found interesting about the chord sequence for that song is that the first. Uh, the way that you were playing it without a capo was using A and F sharp minor D and E and F sharp minor is a funny one for a finger style pattern because you use, you've got to use all your fingers up straight away for yeah. a chord and the same with a D chord because the root notes often on the on the fourth string it's kind of like oh uh, it's something that I would try and avoid a little bit so my first oh. instinct was okay let's change the chord shape so the chords what I was playing you were just doing those same chords but I, by putting a capo on the second fret meant that the chords move from to G, E minor, C and D, mm. or D, D I was usually playing as a C uh, D shape, up to, yeah, whatever, whatever. Mm. <laughs> C chord up to, um, <laughs> so, uh, and straight away that kind of means that I've got my, the bass note, you know, a little bit healthier down here, it's just a, a yep. bit easier as a pattern. But also it gives me all of these fingers free to... Yeah! So there's other and things that you can uh, play around with. And what I worked, the, the, the kind of the thing, the part I came up with for this arrangement was doing a, a G add 9. Yeah. And putting a little hammer on with this add 9. And then I was struggling a bit with the E chord when I first started doing it and I was doing... This E chord, which mm. is just another fancy uh, E minor, nine. E minor nine. Well done! Yeah. See? Stuff. <laughs> um, it's an E minor 9, but uh, it, for me it wasn't really working with the melody of the tune so, as, as well. Um, and I realised that I, that note was still working well, so then I decided to just keep that note for the E minor, which makes it an E7 sus. Yeah. But I don't care, it's just a sound. So, yeah. going from the G. And then it made it nice going to the C was real different again then. So that was a nice, uh, it was one of those, I think one thing that songwriters often miss out on is thinking about it too much rather than just listening. And, and I just was listening to that sound on the G and was like, yeah, why not just keep that sound? It wasn't a thought that, oh, it's an E7 sus or any yeah. theory stuff. It was just a sound that I tried. And if it, it, yeah, and yeah. if it sucked, I would have tried something else. <laughs> but I listened to it. Oh yeah, this kind yeah. of yeah. 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 A lot of people go, oh, I can't use that because it's the wrong chord. But it's like if it sounds, yeah. like, then it is. Um, the rest of those parts were fairly simple. I did like the um, the part for the chorus. Again, was just this F sharp minor, or like E could have been E minor there, but F sharp minor D to C is the the, the kind of the shapes. But by keeping the open G string, you get really nice yeah. chords again. So this is using like, uh, the capo is obviously playing the 2nd fret, we're not playing that string. It'd be ninth fret, 11th fret, open, 10, open for the E minor slash F sharp minor, depending on whether you're thinking with the capo or off. Then this D chord, which would be nothing then, 7th fret, ninth fret, open, ninth fret, capo to the 2nd fret. But then that shape again, I didn't like it so much on the C. It doesn't sound yeah. as rich. These are... That one sounds a bit plain. So moving little finger over. Ah, yeah. now we got it. So we ended up with... Yeah. 
witches are nice. Yeah. All of them are a bit kind of spooky and yeah. Um, so uh, as far as like the finger style patterns, there wasn't really a set trick. It was just alternating the thumb between the bass note and w another note. Yeah. Usually the fifth, but not yeah. always. Um, and yeah, the, the the trick with all of those folk finger style patterns is making sure that the thumb is consistent. And then trying out other notes. Just you can make specific patterns and it's a valuable thing to do but much more valuable is to just try and find little melodies within what it is that you're playing that suit with the voice i think that's yeah. how that's my thinking about it um when clara first came and we started talking about the parts uh because she's used to doing a kind of a finger style version of that but if we were both going to do finger style versions that's really difficult that requires like a lot of rehearsal hours because you have to be so tight together with the not just the bass notes yeah. but all, the and whole I really thing, like your you pattern so I was just like yeah. I'm happy to do <laughs> so, yeah so she could really, she could really play she was only doing simple stuff there but uh, you know you could I've, I've seen well you can go and see the videos of, of Clara playing and she can she's got all that stuff down but it, I think it works better if I'm going to do all of the fancy yeah. stuff to not have another fancy stuff guitar part because then the chances are you won't really hear either of the fancy guitar parts it'll just come out a bit messy so yeah. it's better in this case for Clara to just to be playing really simple stuff and concentrating on the vocal and then leaving the fancy uh, driving pattern sort of thing to to another guitar player which is common mm. for singers that, that mm. can play to mm. you know delegate that to someone else so they can concentrate yeah you on can vocals. focus more on your voice but you're still yeah. playing you're still adding uh, richness to the sound having two guitar players yeah so. Absolutely. So what's one tip that you might give to aspiring songwriters out there that you've learned about writing? About writing? Writing in oh, production is... or being in the studio? What's? I would say I learned a lot from just working together with my guitar player on pre-production. So if you know that you're going into a studio and you know you want to use all that um, expensive <laughs> studio time to mm -hmm. absolute to the best uh, you can, then I think to do lots of demos in your own studio setup mm -hmm. at home and have a, someone to collaborate with don't sit mm -hmm. on your own i think that's a good thing to even if it is a drummer or a bass player or whoever it is grab one musician and work together because it's nice to have someone to um Absolutely. resonate the Don ideas with and um you will always have different skills so it will the outcome will be better so i think we worked like for six weeks just recording all the songs as if we were recording them for real mm -hmm. but we knew that we were going to record mm -hmm. them again and you get lots of new ideas as well while yeah, doing yeah. that so that's i think that's songwriting it's, yeah. it's good for songwriting to record because when you listen back you hear what works mm -hmm. and what doesn't for sure i think collaboration is a really important thing there's a i think there's a really fine line between really amazing and really shit <laughs> <laughs> and if you're with somebody else then you can help to find it because <laughs> yeah. you begin like oh is this yeah. really good or is this really bad you know yeah. it's it can be uh you yeah know. and also i mean you can write together or you can just do the production like in my mm -hmm. case i had written all the songs but we were just working on production mm -hmm. um it's a little bit more pressure to get into a room and write with someone from scratch but mm -hmm. I, I love that too but yeah. some people like writing on their own and some, mm -hmm. um but yeah i like both cool <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this second edition of Justin's Sofa Showcase with Clara um, from Sweden. Uh, uh, there'll be links to all of her sites and socials and all of that sort of stuff in the description of the YouTube video and over on the website. So please do go and check it out. And we'll see you for plenty more very soon. Yay. See ya! Bye! <laughs>